Welcome to Apex Planner, our powerful planning plugin for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. When you have installed the planner, you can find the planner icon on the top of your dashboard. This icon is activated only for authorized users. Here there's the planning area, which now uses the timeline view. You can find the Uses panel on the left, and the toolbar on the top of the application. Move the pointer on the appointment to show their appointment's description, and click on it to find the contact this appointment regards. If you want to move the appointment from a day to another, or even between different users, simply drag and drop the appointment to a different box. Apex Planner has also a date navigator. To open it, press the corresponding button on the toolbar. Use the combination Shift E, select the date, and the planner jumps to that day. The user panel lets you switch between users, select more than one user holding control key, and select all the users displayed in the panel by clicking the select all button. It is also possible to add filters using the drop down list of the security roles, or writing a custom filter. If you want to remove all filters on the users, just click on the clear filters button. In addition to the users, you can also plan the resources of your organization. The filters shown in the drop-down list of the sites of the resources. Select a resource to view its related appointments. Let's see now how to add a new appointment. Left-click on the day where you want to create the appointment. Double-click. A right click and select new appointment. Now select which type of event you want to create. Appointment, a service activity. With the new appointment dialog, you can enter all the information about that appointment. You can choose the start date and the finish date using a date picker. Use the drop down list to choose the start time and the finish time. When you add a regarding account a case, the regarding lookup field opens a dialog from the CRM. Choose one item from the list to add it to the appointment. Add a title, which is mandatory, and a brief description of the appointment if you want to add some more information. Another mandatory field is the appointment status. Choose one from the list, and the appointment color changes according to the status. The Require tab lets you add mandatory users or resources to the appointment. Click on the Lookup button and select one user or one resource from the CRM dialog. Remember to click on the Add Resource button if you want to actually add the record to the appointment. It is also possible to specify optional users and optional resources using the same procedure. You have now created two appointments, one for each user that you have specified. Let's see how to navigate the planner using the buttons on the toolbar. Click on the left arrow button to navigate the view backward, and use the right arrow button to navigate the view forward. Every time you can click on the Go to Today button to return on the current day. In addition to the timeline view there are two more views, this is the month view. If you want to see more appointments or less appointments, you can zoom out or zoom in the view, using the corresponding buttons. Using the day view you can see the duration of the appointments. When an appointment lasts for one day or more, it is displayed on the top of the page, like the one on the left. Otherwise the appointments are sorted according to the start and finish time. You can toggle the user panel by clicking on its icon or using the combination shift U. It is possible to have both the panels open.
the about window shows the license expiration date and the maximum number of active users you can manage within the planner. Finally, we see how to configure the planner. Open the settings menu and select the planner configuration extension. You now see only the default configuration, but you can add some custom configurations if you want. These settings include the owner of the configuration, the starting view, the maximum number of users displayed on each view, the default team for the users, and the default site for the resources. Thank you for your attention. We hope you will enjoy Apex Planner.